What's up everybody, Darren Starr. Today we are going to take a look at the 2024 IFBB Tupelo Pro Women's Physique Division. In this show, uh, there were some Masters categories available. There were some Masters Figure, Masters Wellness, Masters Classic Physique, only the Open for Women's Physique. So it makes things a little bit simpler from my perspective here. So we're gonna take a look at pre-judging here and uh, see how the individuals played out, see how the call-outs played out, and join me afterwards and we will break down the results. So the first six are here. Got a big mix here. Far right is Elena Romero. Looks super dense, super impressive. She was third in Tampa two weeks ago. Um, two in from her is Alyssa Coppolino, who was 15th in Tampa, but looks pretty dang impressive right now. The left side of the stage, I find less impressive. Now, Romero, the first one on the far left there, little blocky, um, doesn't, doesn't have the greatest aesthetic, but really super dense, great size. A few noteworthies in here. So far right is, I'm going to butcher this, Lenka Ferenchukova, who is third in Chicago and third in Atlanta and looks crazy right there. Center right is Modesta Halby. She was 12th in Texas last week. Jeanette Johansson is second from the left. She was third in Texas last week. We'll see how the individuals look. I think Jeanette was a little sharper last week. Lenka looks super soft from the back. She looked ridiculous from the front, really soft from the back. Yeah, okay, Jeanette looks pretty sharp from the front there. Final five here. So in here, um, second from the right is Paula Ranta, who she was, I think sixth or seventh last week in Texas, fourth in Tampa. This is her fifth show of the year. Like she's just nonstop. And I don't know how she isn't just freaking exhausted and wanting to die at this point, but here she is. I will say, I don't think she's getting better. Natalia Spearings is second from the left. I didn't see her from the front, but good conditioning on that back pose. Yeah, she's pretty impressive physique overall. Again, a little on the blocky side, but really impressive. Yeah, cool. Now we see the individuals and we'll see all of them come out. We haven't seen any, there were no masters, so we're gonna see all of them here for individuals. Women's physique posing is of course, a lot more interesting than figure posing. Say so midsection I'd like to see just a little tighter overall. She looks possibly a little over glazed. Good development, good conditioning. Again, I, I think she's just kind of just some of the little things are off. Like I'd love to see that midsection just a little bit tighter. Sharp legs from the side. Come on, cameraman. It's a good shot. A lot of people do that pose. A lot of them can't pull it off. That look good. Yeah. Stride glutes. I would have. I would have liked to have seen some more back shots there. Derby. Hey girl, come here. Come on. Come here, girl. No, come here. Come see daddy. Come on. Little putts. Trying to get my dog to come sit on my lap. She won't do it. By the way, the previous competitor was third in Tampa two weeks ago. Sam Akash, uh, she finished 11th in Texas. Um, she uh, was a DNP, did not place in Chicago uh, previously before that. Uh, pretty similar to what I saw in Texas last week. Um, just undersized, like the legs just aren't there. Um, back looks good. Um, legs just kind of like not there, not there. Um, upper body's great, honestly. Like a really good women's physique upper body. Um, legs just need to come up. She was 15th in Tampa two weeks ago. Legs are pretty sharp. This looks a little flat. She's moving too fast. She needs to slow down a little bit. Yeah, a little undersized. Like, she looked better in the comparison rounds here. 
The quads are quads are sharp. They're they're speeding them up now. <laughs> they're giving them about 30 seconds. Samantha M right now. She is small. She is just undersized. Lean, sharp. Um, like really shredded there. Holy crap! But there's just you got to have more muscle on your frame if you're going to be in a pro show. That's all there is to it. Bale represent. Where's the midsection? Those abs look like mine. It's not a good thing. <laughs> I can give shit if I give it in reference to myself, right? Yeah, she's just soft. She's just soft. Looking for somebody to get up on stage and really just like blow me away. And so far, we aren't there. So good size, just uh, very blocky midsection. Would love to see that come in a little bit tighter. Yeah, good muscle overall, really good. Conditioning is okay. Thank you, Thank you. wow, that's quick. Yeah, conditioning from behind was actually looking good. <laughs> yeah, she's used to people not being able to say that over here, I'm sure. Like, that's a really good shape. Like, great size. Um, should she be bodybuilding? Probably. And here's where she's going to lose it, because that back just has no definition in it at all. Like, she's got great size, but the conditioning is just not there today. She looks like she's still got about six weeks to go. Interesting shapes here. Again, soft from behind, legs are kind of overpowered by a really good upper body. Crazy freaking biceps, holy crap. Modesta Halby, 12th last week in Texas. Not surprisingly, looks about the same here. Um, can't really do much in a week. So, um, yeah, I mean, a, a upper half conditioning from what we've seen so far. Like, you know, she got outmatched last week. I think she's going to be probably in position for a little bit better placing um, this time around. Um, just goes to show, like, you got no control over who shows up. Yeah, posing is a little rigid, not a lot of fluidity here. She got the memo, go quick. <laughs> the, the judges are trying to catch up on the schedule, apparently. Overall, decent shape, decent conditioning, nothing really stands out. Um, it's crazy that you can look at someone like that and say, unremarkable, but doesn't stand out in a crowd on a stage like this. Here's Jeanette, again, third in Texas last week. And uh, so far... She is going to win this show. Um, we'll see who else who else comes out, but she's got a great package, top to bottom, um, really really solid, still good conditioning. She looked a little sharper last week. That may have just been stage lighting, however, hard to say for sure. These stages are not all lit similarly. Like every pose, she's just got it. The conditioning's there. Like yeah, sharp, sharp, sharp. We'll see if anyone can beat that. So she's playing the size game here. Legs, biceps are ridiculous. Conditioning is pretty good. Overall shape is just a little like, Bleh. I don't know, like that's a great pose there. I'd like to see her midsection a little tighter, but so far that's probably first call out. Shea Queen did Texas, the Texas Pro last week, did not place. Um, she's going to find herself a little undersized here. 
Now, last week's show in Texas had some bigger names in it, um, so it was really easy to get kind of crowded out, um, which she did. So she's probably going to place better here um, than she did last week um, while bringing the same physique. Um, again, just a little undersized, but uh, there are others here who are more undersized or less conditions than her. Paula Ranta. All I can think is like five shows in rapid succession over the course of a couple months. Like she's got to be freaking exhausted. I, I can't. I can't imagine. Um, yeah, I mean she'll she'll probably place a little bit better here just because she does have good conditioning, even if her lower body looks a little soft. Schnott? Is that how you say that? So really bringing the conditioning here. It's funny, in certain areas and then other areas she looks a lot less sharp. Upper body is there. Legs are just a tiny little bit off, but really good overall. And she also got the memo, like, move faster. Midsection was a little loose there. She looked good in the comparison round. Her, her legs look great. They're kind of, her upper body almost has like kind of an atrophied look to it, just a little bit. It just doesn't have anywhere near the same size or pop as her lower body. Um, she could be, I mean, those glutes are crazy. She could be borderline first call out. Like I could see that. Looks good. Looks good. The upper body is just a little, little off. It's a really good physique. Doesn't have the wow factor, but I would say like very pleasant head to toe, like really good flow, really good shape. Conditioning is okay, it's appropriate. Um, she's got good size in her legs, good separation in the quads. So that's all of them. So now we'll do some call outs here. So I think Jeanette is front and center first call out, and I don't think it's really particularly close. Mm, no, I disagree. Yeah, I agree with that. Yep. 34. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 Lenka, I think she, her size is there. I think she's more bodybuilding and the conditioning is not there. I don't think she belongs in this call out, which is too bad because um, she's got a lot going for her. Yeah, Jeanette's actually looking a little soft in this comparison here. Yep, that's good. I think Alyssa looks great here. Yep, I, I agree with that. <laughs> you see that smile on Jeanette's face? She's like, I got this and I fucking know it. <laughs> Oh God. I don't agree with that move. Complicated though it was. I mean, Elena on the end now, like she's got a lot going for her. Like the condition is there. What? Are you on drugs? What the fuck is that? You're going to regret that when you turn them around onto the back pose.
Yeah, one of these things is not like the other. Lenka is looking harder here than she was earlier, but actually everyone in that pose looks great. Hmm. It's tough because their physiques are so dissimilar from each other. Like, at this point, you're just making decisions as far as what you want to see more of and less of. And what you want to prioritize more and less. That's what they're up there for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the overall structure of how they're built. Like Jeanette, I think is just uh, just in a slightly tire, higher tier than everyone else here. She just has really good flow, really good balance between everything. The size is there in all the spots. She's conditioned. Um, I, you really can't pick much apart with her. And everybody else has something that's just not quite right. Like her physique just has more polish than everybody else. She's also holding that pose like a rock. Everyone up here looks like they belong. You know, I, I was criticizing Lenka for being in this call out. Not criticizing her, but you know, I didn't feel like she belonged. I don't think she belongs in like a position for second or third. Um, no, I don't think so. What they're saying there is that size alone is what we want. Your conditioning can be off and it doesn't matter. But I really think that she is more bodybuilding than physique. I said that, I said there was some question about Jeanette with that last week, but I don't know. I think, you know, on a different day she could be bodybuilding, but um, she's really a tweener. She could go either way. Yeah, these are, are three pretty similar physiques, actually. They all appear to be exactly the same height. Hold on, she has to be exactly the same height. Can she be up there? Yeah, uh, uh, her, her posing looks a little more forced than everybody else. It just doesn't look natural or comfortable at all. Now everybody scoot to the left. Oh, she looks mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> she, she kind of needs to be out there too, I think. If her legs were up, she would be first call out material easily, I think. She's probably feeling robbed right now. Yeah, I think Samica cashed 22 in the green. Um, I think she's going to take this call out. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing her legs come up a little bit more, but in this call out, if we're looking at like, you know, this is going to be, how many do we have in the first one? Six in the first one? Seventh? Like, yeah, uh, I, think, I think this is a show where she could take seventh easily. Yeah. And I do think, um, who is that next to her? Santana? I kind of I kind of have them one two in this call out. 
Although Natalia on the far right, I, I wouldn't I think she belongs a little closer to the center in this group. Like I would have her uh, in front of Shea Queen 33. I would have her in front of Farah, uh, who's second from the left. Yeah, I would put her third in this call out, which would put her at ninth. Everyone's poses there look great. You know, Shay here in the pink, she's just undersized compared to everybody else. Nothing you can do on stage is going to fix that today. You can tell Santana in the purple, like she probably works with her posing coach all the time and the posing coach keeps saying, smile, smile, smile. Because she just looks angry and pissed until she actually smiles and then it's like, oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> and yes, the sad thing is that does matter. See, there she just <laughs> flips it on. I mean, there's some, there's some strong physiques here in this last call out. Um, that's Lorraine, second from the left. Like, she's got a really, really strong physique. Conditioning's a little off, but man. Yeah, that looks right. I wonder if Diana should have been maybe in the second call out. Just keep in mind here also that every single one of the women on stage here is probably the most ripped and the most jacked person at their gym. They're a pro and they're in the last call out here. So, um, like, you can't go into a show expecting to win. I'm not saying that they are, but it's what I work with a lot with amateurs. They're like, I want to go in and win. And I'm like, just because you're the biggest person in your gym doesn't mean shit. You know, like, it depends who else shows up on stage and experience matters. Yeah, here, here is where some people get exposed, you know, from center to the left, everyone's just a little soft, the midsection just isn't there. And on the far right, that's Samantha, like, she's absolutely shredded, she's the leanest person in this show so far. Um, she just doesn't have muscle in her frame. Just this, the entire first call out again. Who are we missing here? Who was in the first call out that's not here? Modesta Halby. Okay, so she's going to be sixth. Here's your top five. <laughs> again, I I hate it when judges like telegraph things like that. Our first call out was six. Our fourth call out with the same people is five. We left one out. The whole thing with like moving people around is stupid anyway. And also, when you have, yeah, that's, yeah. Like, just look at Jeanette's quads. Like, super full, super round, just deeply separated. Elena, honestly, like, she, she's got long arms and she's kind of gangly a little bit and she is like you can see it now in the comparisons here i mentioned it in her individual she is overglazed over oiled like it detracts from the physique you need a little bit just a little and under these lights she is now reflective and that's not good and as a pro i would expect people to be in a position where they no longer make that mistake that her Back double bicep pose is fucking ridiculous, though. That's insane. 
Alyssa is really the sleeper in this group on the far right. She was 15th in Tampa two weeks ago. She's going to be fourth or fifth here today. She's got great conditioning here. She also looks fucking exhausted right now. They all do. Jeanette and Linka, honestly, they're just like chilling. They, they look like they could be up there all day. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so there you have it. It was a pretty interesting show all around. Um, there were some really high-level competitors here. A lot of competitors in women's physique who had placed really, really well and competitively in previous shows earlier this season. If you look at, for example, classic physique in this show, there wasn't anybody competing in classic physique who had finished higher than 11th in a show previous this year. So this time around, we had some people coming back really hoping to get that Olympia qualification. So winning the show, no surprise to me in first was Jeanette Johansson. I felt like she just absolutely dominated top to bottom. I don't feel like this was ever really in doubt. I feel like she took the whole thing. Once again, just like we saw in Texas the week before where she took third, no real weaknesses here. I made a comment uh, during in pre-judging, I felt maybe she was a little bit off. I think that was just a first impression. Overall, she looked every bit as sharp as she did last time around. Uh, second was Lenka Ferenchukova, who um, I do feel was a little too soft. And if we're talking second place in, in a women's physique open competition, I think she was too soft for second. I know it really relies on who else is there. I think she has the size. She has gone back and forth between women's physique and bodybuilding, kind of like you know a tweener in, in one foot in each of the two categories. Um, and for either one, I think she was just too soft today, but she took second. Third was Elena Abelez Romero, which I thought was well earned. She definitely has a little bit more of the freak factor. Um, and, you know, super hard, super full. Midsection wasn't quite as controlled as we saw in some others. And I did mention during the pre-judging, um, just looked a little over-oiled, um, which I think detracted from the overall presentation. Just a little too reflective. And it really stood out when you compare her with everybody else. Clearly didn't hurt her too much. She still took third. Fourth was Paula Ranta. Again, I think this was her fifth show of the year. Um, so still just, you know, she's consistently in the top seven at pretty much every show now. Uh, and the thing is, like, what's she going to have to do in order to crack into that first position here? Now that the point system for the Olympia has gone away, you've got to win a show to be Olympia qualified. And you can tell, like, she's really, really, really fighting for it, and it just keeps eluding her. Uh, fifth was Alyssa Coppolino, which I think this was well-earned. Honestly, if I'm looking at all of the top ten, I don't really have too many issues with any of this. I think everything was pretty appropriate here. I think you could probably make an argument that Alyssa and Paula at fifth and fourth, respectively, maybe should have traded places. Um, I felt like Alyssa was just a little harder overall, top to bottom, had some really impressive shots. Um, Paula, to me, doesn't really dominate in any shot. She's just solid overall. Uh, and so I think Alyssa with a little bit of the wow factor possibly easily could have could have taken fourth. Again, the thing with bodybuilding is it's always subjective. And you can make an argument for anything. You can justify your decisions in pretty much any way. Uh, but again, that's how I would call it if it were me. I don't think the judges were necessarily super, super wrong. It wasn't an egregious call or anything like that. Just a difference of opinion. But really good show overall. Really happy with how everybody showed up here.